there's plenty of players at that height that become big guys. But could you tell, like, aside from the weight room and on the court, did he, what did he have beside his physical attributes that got him where he is today? Because the reason I'm asking this is every kid, about 95% of the kids that reach out to me, and probably the same that you talk to, want to play in the NBA, right? Sure. And I'm more curious about guards, what they have that separates them from everyone else. I mean, Kevin's obviously six what is he 611 now or 610 yeah, yeah. um he's yeah. got that dna but still to have the skill set he has what did he possess blair that got him to this level that's a great question because i want to be honest with you like when i watched him play and i was hearing all i was not hearing but i was seeing all these coaches come through to recruit kevin and and know that he was high on the radar i I thought he'd be pretty good. I just didn't think he'd be like one and done. I didn't think he'd be NBA MVP. But then again, I was also young in my career. I hadn't really spent extensive amount of time with these types of guys. You know what I mean? So like, it was a big deal. We had Gravis Vasquez on our team. Yeah. And um, Gravis is uh, born in Venezuela and uh, came to Montrose Christian as a sophomore and ended up being an excellent point guard at University of Maryland and uh, played seven years plus in the league, I believe. And uh, had a had a pretty good career there. Um, I was more excited about his game than I was for Kevin, because uh, Kevin was just like a quiet assassin. I mean, he just uh, I don't know if many people know this, but he didn't score that much in high school. We had a loaded team. He was like he averaged like 14 points a game in much was Christian. And then he goes to Texas and he averages. I want to say I'm, I know I'm wrong with this, but he he was higher, but he was probably around the 21 point per game average and then he goes to the NBA and then he scoring even more you know 28 per game right that's not a normal progression mm-hmm. it usually is reverse if you think about it you're the 28 30 point score in high school you're the 20 point score in college and then maybe you're the 10 point score in the NBA right it's supposed to get more difficult it got more easy for him so I, I didn't I didn't look at Kevin and think oh man that guy's an NBA ticket no I just yeah. we just didn't think about it you know, and, and, and probably not until we saw him play in college and how dominant he was in college. I was like, wow, this could, could really turn into something. And even though he escalated his career quickly by the one and done, if you look at him now, he's still getting better and better and better. He's in his 11th year now. Like, he's still getting better. And, and there's, I really believe in that long-term athletic development, like, you can still continue to improve. You don't have to be, like, you're at your peak as a junior in high school. You know what I mean? And And some kids unfortunately do, but like Kevin was continuing to grow. So that's why I answer that. And I say, I don't, I don't know that he possessed anything so specific that, that would give him that drive. Now, from a personality perspective, I think he loved, he loved, I could sense he loved the game. He loved being in the gym. And I think it's really hard to maximize your potential unless you really love the game, because let's be real about it. Anybody that loves anything at some point might dislike it for a little bit. Okay. So for example, in my job, I love training athletes. I love it. I wouldn't trade it for the world, but it doesn't mean it's not hard. It doesn't mean I don't have tough days. Okay. Um, So I say that to say you can love basketball, but there's going to be some tough days. There's going to be some tough times. And if you can't work your way through that, then maybe you got to ask yourself, do you really love basketball? And Kevin really, really loves basketball. And and his mom is super supportive. His dad is super supportive. He had, he had some really good um, folks behind him. He's got a huge community in the Prince George's County, Maryland community that really supports him. In fact, he's very supportive of them as well. He opened like a new community center this past year. Um, so, you know, he had the intangibles probably physically, but um, I think it was that desire and passion early on where he just, he just loves playing like, He'd probably, if he didn't make the NBA, I'm sure he'd just still be playing basketball. Like, just loves basketball. Yeah. 